Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to achieve this beachy, wavy, effortless hairstyle for short hair. So this is a great look for people with short to medium hairstyle. I've had long hair for pretty much my whole life, um, except for that time my mom thought I had, what is it called? Oh, she thought I had lice, so she decided to cut it into like a, uh, but anyway, let's not revisit those memories. Making the cut was actually a huge investment for me because having long hair, it's kind of like a safety net. Whenever people walk past that you don't want to see, you're kind of just like, oh yeah, I just don't want to remember. And you feel safer having like this blanket of hair over you. So I chopped off like this much and it was so painful. <laughs> so if you guys are thinking of cutting your hair short as well, Check out this video and I'll show you how to achieve this look. So this looks really easy to achieve. You only need maybe two or three products. The first one is dry shampoo. The look works better on like second or third day hair because there's more grit and there's more oils. And by using dry shampoo, it'll lock in the curls longer. Uh, secondly, you'll need a texturizing spray. The one I'm using is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun uh, finish and this is really good because it's a lightweight spray. This is really gonna give your curls that lasting hold. After you do the curls the second day it'll still be in there so you all you need to do is really just touch up a few curls and the one I'm using is um, the L'Oreal Curvet Elastic Curl Mousse. So this is my day two hair and I think it works better because um, when you curl it your hair's not as fresh and not as silky so the curls will stay in there a bit longer. So what you wanna do is just start off. Um, you can start from the front or the back and just take maybe like two to five centimeter sections and then wrap it around the barrel away from your face. Hold it there for about two to three seconds or a bit longer depending on how thick your hair is. And then instead of just letting it fall, hold on to it and tug it a little bit while it cools down. And this will give you the beachy effect instead of ringlets. So you sh it should just turn out like that. And then take the second section. I usually just start from the back and work um, towards the front. So you can see that it's not ringlets, which is what you don't really want. I typically like to have the ones around my face less curly, so I leave it in on the barrel for less time. Okay, now you can go underwards and just take random sections and you can wrap it around towards the front, just so it creates that effortless uh, beachy look. And on the bottom layers, you can keep it a bit curlier because that'll add um, more volume underneath. So the layers above sit on top of the curlier bottom layers and that'll create more volume. Like in the morning when you're really rushing to get to work or like get to school, it literally takes only five to like seven minutes and it looks like you put in a lot of effort when really you didn't. <laughs> okay, so that's one side and you can see that it's already giving more volume. So again, you can keep the layers at the back um, a bit curlier because then, especially around the crown, so then it creates more lift and volume, which is typically what you want. Oh, and also you wanna leave the last maybe two centimeters straight, um, just so it's not a tight curl at the end. And that's what gives it that beach look. When you get to the front, take this piece and again, just wrap it around outwards. So that's the front and then just take the bottom sections, curl some forward. Oh my God, I have this like random baby hair at the front. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even need to do the bottom sections if your hair is a bit shorter than mine, like they just kind of hang around the neck area. And this wand is super hot. Um, it's the one by Numi and it heats up in like, I don't know, five seconds because ain't nobody got time for waiting for curling iron to heat up. Just go through and if there's any pieces that you want a bit curlier, just go back and um, recurl them again. 
So when you're done with the curling, just use your fingers, run it through the curls to like loosen them up and then use this to, what this is going to do is uh, create that messy um, kind of, I woke up like this kind of hair, but you really didn't wake up like this because our Asian hair is so flat and it's got no volume. So yeah, just kind of work that through and you can like fling your hair. <laughs> um, and I find that helps a lot because then it breaks up the curl so it's not like ringlets. Place the sections around the face. And you can use some hairspray just to spray through the roots or even get a comb and tease the back. You can take the sections on your crown, tease it a bit, let it fall. So this is the finished look guys. I hope you like it. It was honestly so easy to get. So if I can do it, I'm sure all of you can do it. This is my first video. I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hi guys. Am I like, so. <laughs> I'm gonna show you next, no. If you wanna go.